I should have done a sink. It's okay, I can soft open with this and then you can sink. <laughs> we can get <laughs> back to the actual thing. Yeah. Oh look, another Colossus stole. Also, has did been you notice shattered. there were two spirits standing over you? Yes, I did. Staring at you sleeping. These are important plot points. Well, yeah, I, I kind of figure now that, you know, the more statues you shatter, the more are going to be standing over you watching you sleeping. Hey, yep. There's also weird little details throughout that are changing slowly. <sighs> this boss. Sounds like fun. This is the first one that's actually, like, difficult. Um, Where they kind of fight back instead of shaking their head, like, don't kill me, don't kill me, yeah. don't kill me. This is also the first guy. They continue to escalate in terms of their size. Uh -huh. And this is the first one that really, like, is shockingly large. Hey, party people. We're it's back. It's Kevin and Bean. Sorry. Is that... I'm sorry. I haven't... I, it, it, I don't... I don't... I haven't listened to Kevin and Bean in a while, because... Well, I was going to say I'm not awake that early, but that's a goddamn lie. Um, I just don't listen to the radio that much. But yeah, it, it used to be one of their old, like, you know, intro things. Well, for sure. Which is, I mean, it's classic. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not particularly creative, but, you know, it doesn't need to No, be. no, I, I, I mean... I mean, we're not making Casablanca here. <laughs> you literally meant we're not making Casablanca. Yeah, it's... Of course, it's why would you done. make Casablanca? It's a film that's already been made. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, I missed the hawk. Okay, so if you can time your jump correctly off the back of your horse when the hawk swoops low... You can grab the feet of the hawk. Like you have to perfectly like aim your jump and get the grab. But if you grab the hawk's feet, it flies you rapid speed all over the map. Nice. So you just basically hang on to it until you see the boss from above, and then you're like, I up and drop on it. Hmm. It's frustrating as hell, and I have never actually managed to catch the fucking hawk. It's interesting that. It um, reminds me a bit of a mechanic, and I'm wondering if they stole it directly from this. They very well may have, or it may have existed in games before this. But there was a uh, an island on WoW where World of Warcraft. Yeah. I mean, I figured you followed, but like, um, there were these large albatrosses, and like you Ooh. couldn't fly on the island, so you'd have to like knock down the albatross and nice. then get it to carry you around the island. And then, with nice words and a free meal, <laughs> well, or with beatings, like brutal usually. slavery. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> beatings will continue until morale improves. Oh yeah, but it, it you know it sounded like a similar mechanic where you know you just kind of like fly around and get to where where you need to go. But it, it's you similar know, with the aid of things naturally in the environment. You gotta wake that sleeping giant, bro. He is the mountain. I mean, I and you are merely the hound. Wait this until later. And we all know Please what tell happens. Me this is a Canyon Country Part when, One. When the hound and the mountain come into contact. Uh, face burning. Yeah. Damn it! This is Canyon Country Part One. So keep your eye out if you see any uh, lizards. Is this where they like to hang out? Okay, in? cool. Um, I mean, I generally think of lizards sunning themselves and, you know, doing shit like that rather than being in the shadows. It's not generally where uh, where I look for my cutscenes. You should <laughs> be more shadows. ready. <laughs> of the colossal. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I need more alcohol in me. Was the horse just like, no, there's a cutscene. I'm done taking your dumb ass around. Well, you can ride the horse to the edge here. 
But his fat ass can't swim. Ah. No matter how many times you... No, don't run me <laughs> over, you piece of shit. The worst thing about this, too, is that he becomes, like, your best friend by the end. So it's kind of like a horse and his boy? Yes. Except, you know, the horse <laughs> is capable and the boy is a piece of shit in that book. Whereas here, this fucking fat horse... Sorry. So if you could... I was just glorying in the water. If you could bridge time and space... If I could turn back time, if I could find a way. Sorry. You would have the ultimate team. Oh, the horse from Horse and His Boy and this guy? Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh my god, that would make this game so much easier. Doesn't mean this kid, for all of the... Just like, this is dumb and you're breaking this on yourself. Like, I... I he goes through a lot no, of crap he gets, here. He gets mad props. He's got the oh, yeah. determination. And he got gumption. He got gumption. This jump. Oh, I hate this jump. This is definitely leap of faith. I'm going to grab onto the small... Oh, no, I can't just swim all the way back. All right. It's a lot better than I, I was expecting. Literally, like, the hard fail of you just hitting pavement. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all on water. There's a later stuff where you can totally eat it from great heights and die. Uh, this one is just obnoxious because you have to precisely land that jump. And oh, every yeah, time you know, there's the entire... I thought you had to grab onto that, like, flimsy-ass fucking leaf. Not the actual building. <laughs> Just be like, oh, no, uh, this you... plant can totally hold your weight. You got uh, it, bro. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You know, the impressive thing is he's he's got unbelievable stamina when it comes to anything and everything except for gripping things. I mean, I no mean... signs of fatigue in the water. It is a building-sized animal shaking him enough that he is literally. No, no, no. no. I'm saying it's impressive that like, I mean, this guy could he could you know be a be a fucking uh, an Iron Man athlete. Oh yeah, no, this guy is a full on fucking like triathlete love guy, which is part of what I'm saying. Like I got mad respect. Like this fool, he throws down on this. I'm really, there's like random, this controller will just randomly do commands every once in a while. It hasn't fucked me yet. But they're like different buttons too. It's not even just one button. Don't you trip. Fuck you up. Alright. Oh. Went too far right. Welcome to the episode, folks. Yeah, Not that I don't have faith in Patrick, but... But it's like a two-minute swim back to the fucking thing every time. No, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gainsaying you here. This was the first time that, that I did this. It was Tatum and me. And we did this, like, probably 30 times. It was one of the most singularly frustrating experiences ever. I'm sorry, I had the urge to correct you and say Tatum and I. Because normally you're the one being no. the grammar Nazi. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> I have failed the party. You must punish me. Yeah. Oh. Um, good How on that, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not quite on the same level as uh, Mel Gibson in, uh, in South Park. <laughs> God, that shit. Oh, my nipples. They hurt when I twist them. That you shouldn't. Oh, okay. Uh, don't call your horse. <laughs> the horse can't help you. He's he's already pretty aggro. Yeah, he is. God damn it. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. You got it this time, bro. Whoop. Go for the gold, Johnny. See? See? There we go. I just had to trust and run all the way. So then this. You got... This is nothing. Thank you for not instantly proving me wrong. <laughs> I'm <laughs> if I glad. I've just been like, this is nothing. And yeah. Just full on whiffed. I would have felt like <laughs> the, the biggest swan douche. Dive. <laughs> uh, it's alright. I would have been the biggest douche. So, see, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, just give me stairs. Nope. That would be too easy. Alright. So. Sleepy J, motherfucker! Yeah. Boss 3. Boss Hug. Boss Nass. Boss. Whoever the guy, the, the guy from Cool Hand Luke. I have not seen that. Oh man, that's actually a really good movie. It's the classic, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Which is iconic as fuck. There's a lot of things that, like, you know, I know quotes from I just haven't fucking seen. Oh, this fucking fight. It looks thoroughly unpleasant. That, uh, that, that sword or that, that lump of, um, stone yeah, it certainly looks, looks unpleasant. I mean, I don't want to give him too much, you know, credit with his craftsmanship. Come on. You don't have to climb on the swing. Swing bad about a swing bad about. Of course you do. That's what I thought. But you were running away. You just have to... You just have to be that sweet spot of not being crushed to death. Here we not go. Not have your brains being splattered all over the pavement. Excellent. No, damn it, he didn't hit the stone. Son of a bitch. Okay. Whole point of this boss fight is you have to lure him far enough away from the central stone that when he swings his sword down, he gets the sword stuck hits, in the ground. No, it hits the stone and shatters his bracelet. Uh, Once the bracelet is shattered, you can run up the sword. Oh, fuck's sake. You can see now why you're saying that this is some bullshit. Yeah, this boss fight is hard. Follow me this way. I never thought I would say this, but I need you to be a tad faster than you are. You tasty, tasty little man. Wandered into your world. Smash me. Bring the thunder. The thunder from down under. No! Don't call the fat horse! He <laughs> won't save you! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's right! I'm standing right here, aren't I? Don't. Oh, should have seen that coming. What? Gurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurgurg
So it's not like his bracelet reset. That's that's no, what I thought. That's Come on. Come on. Basically, you have to do the crazy ass like backwards leaning jump from his arm to his midsection. Uh mm. Come on. Lay the wood. Nope. Bring the smack down. Stop walking. You're slow anyways. No, no, no! I don't need to check where the boss is. I know where the boss is. I'm very familiar with that fact right now. Come on. Fine. Want to do it like this? We'll do it like <laughs> you this. You want to kill me? Bring me some sweet release. And then get far enough. No! I need to move right now! God. I think I'm gonna call this one Bumbles. Bumbles? <laughs> I think that's a fair name for him. Yeah, it's not inaccurate. <laughs> At all. Come on. He's got there a little There we go. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Give me that. You're... Really? Just come after me with the long range. Nope. You were supposed to do it perfect the first time, Patrick. <sighs> you fucked up. That's the other thing. Like, his moveset is totally random. So sometimes you'll be like, just do the thing. For a very long time. Yeah, you know, I I was actually kind of thinking this game is is essentially the gamer's version of fishing. There's a lot of sitting around and waiting for things to happen. Not inaccurate. But like, you know, from a gamer's standpoint, it's still interactive and entertaining and like, you know, Cinemax and everything are awesome and beautiful. And no! Damn it, Patrick. Um... <sighs> I, I am just as unhappy with this as you are. You can believe me here. No, I, you are arguably more unhappy since you are the one wielding the light. You are the one with the power to vanquish the shadows. Of your class, eh? Yes. Well, uh, why don't we take this time to say a quick next time on Nano Plays? God damn it all to hell! <laughs>